decided to take off the exhaust system so you can see the radiator better. So it's fairly simple. Undo the six bolts. One, actually they're nuts. Two, three, four, five, six. One exhaust pipe for each cylinder. Unscrew the O2 sensor right here. And there's an electrical connector there. There's two bolts in here that hold the muffler on. One there and then one on the other side. So the electrical connector on the O2 sensor has this little hump right here. See, that's where it plugs in here. If you go over to here, it's really hard to film this. You've got to flip this little piece up. So the connector's in there. You pull it out after you flip this up. So like I showed you, the wire just came out of there, and there's a little tab you pull up there. And you can see the wire goes up long under this little clip here. There, pull it out from the clip. And we're going to get a 22 millimeter and unscrew that. So this will just unscrew. It comes out, there's the little O2 sensor. I'm using a 12 millimeter and an extension to get these bolts off. So I'm going to loosen all six up. So this one actually is a 12 also. Get that in there. Loosen that up. Those just thread in. So once you get the bolts off, these collars slide off like this. All three of them off. So the trick now is to get the two other bolts loose. I've actually loosened them down here, one on each side. But it's going to fall down here. So if you're doing this on the ground, last time I did it, I was just using the side stand. But now I put these little pieces of wood under here. Hopefully that'll catch it when I loosen these two bolts. So I did get the exhaust off. This is where those two bolts go. There's the three exhaust pipes there. Basically when you get the six bolts undone up here on these collars, like I showed you, there's these two bolts here that go in like that. One on each side. And then you basically just kind of pull down and forward and hopefully you don't drop it on your foot. If you look up in here, those are the exhaust gaskets. And I've got new ones right here. These actually crush when you put it back together. Because when you tighten it down here, it's mismatched. Let's see if you can see the mismatch if I zoom up right in here. This surface area, along here, all the way around, that's the gasket. It smashes. First time I tried this, this had a aftermarket exhaust on it and it was too loud. So I put the stock exhaust back on, which is probably opposite of what everybody does, but I like it because it's super quiet. But anyway, I put the old exhaust back. It came with the bike and it was totally smoking out of these gaskets. So I had to buy new ones, but I've actually had this off twice since then. And this last time I put it on, it didn't leak at all. So because this is it lines up pretty exact when you bolt it down so i don't know if i'll get lucky on three times but this surface matches very well with this surface down here so they could never get it perfect where this mounts that's why they put that gasket in there just a quick aside this whole procedure just just so we could get to the valves and the valve springs you can actually see part 15 here, which is the exhaust valve. So you should be able to see the exhaust valve if you look in the holes here. See that rod coming down. There they are. 
all this work just to make sure those are adjusted right. Got some rags and I made sure there's no fuzz here. I don't want any dirt going in these holes, so I'm just going to stuff these rags in here. That'll keep the dirt out. I'll do the other two off camera. There we go. I made sure they wouldn't fall into some big hole first. So when I come back next time, I'm going to clean all this up and kind of go through the cooling system piece by piece. 